Recently, more people have become uh, aware of the existence of VPNs and have begun to use them in their personal lives. There are a number of legitimate reasons for people to do this, such as protecting their privacy when using an open network, and a number of illegitimate reasons, such as circumverting um, re regional locks on streamed media. A virtual private network can be defined as a means of transmitting, transmitting private data securely from one network across an unsecured network to the third network. Here, it's VPN. Oops. Let's write VPN here. This is our old illustrations. VPN. Here. So, actually, let's make it a little bit okay. zoom. So, VPN. So, generally speaking, the uh, unsecured network uh, we are referring to as the Internet which due to the nature of its design has a number of potential uh, security risks. However, this is not always going to be the case. Uh, I worked for uh, one organization that, has, that required the use of the VPNs within their own infrastructure. In this case, the network being transmitted was not insecure. We just needed uh, to ensure any data that tr was transmitted across it was not visible to the others, even though they were from the same company. We often refer to the use of the VPNs as uh, using the VPN tunnel. You may be wondering why companies would need to use a VPN, and that is a good question. First, let's look at a very common reason for doing so, and that it that is when an organization is located on multiple sides. Uh, here, let uh, let me actually write a diagram here. Uh, so. This is this will be our building here. Here. Uh, so here we will have the head office here. Head office. And then we will have another office here. This will be branch office. So in head office we will have two computers, for example. Computer. Computer one and two actually one here okay so this is the one two here so this is the uh here let's add another router here router so for example let's make this router and then we will create another router here as well and cloud this will be internet Cloud here. This is the internet. Inter. Actually, it, let's write inside here. Actually, not inside. It's good like that. So this will be internet, and we inside internet we will have tunnel, uh, which is VPN tunnel here. This is the VPN tunnel here. Let's make internet bigger here and tunnel smaller here. Here. So this will be the head office here. Actually, this is the head office. Head office. And this will be uh, our branch office. 
here so this uh, this is the this will be the vpn vpn concentrator here vpn on here let's make it for example 16 here this is the vpn concentrator and the vpn concentrator also so these computers connects to this uh, vpn concentrator and also this and this connects to and this computer connects to and this vpn concentrator connects to the vpn tunnel This, this connects to VPN tunnel here. So, as you can see here, in this, uh, actually in this virtual private network, uh, you can uh, see internet, which due to the nature of design, uh, you may be wondering why companies would need to use a VPN, and that's a good question. So first, let's look at very common reason for doing so. And this is when an organization located on multiple sites. In this diagram, we can see a site-to-site -site VPN. So this is the office. Office here. Actually, not. Uh, let's VPN and copy office or uh, company building here. So. In this case, the organization wants to ensure that all the traffic between the sites is protected. So they util utilize VPNs to facilitate this. All the traffic from the branch um, offices passes through a device known as the VPN concentrator. Um, the VPN concentra uh, concentrator at uh, each site will directly connect to the VPN concentrator here with VPN tunnel. At the heat of sense you can see here so the transmission of the data across the vpn is transparent transparent to most users that is they are unaware that uh, this takes place so another common form of implementation is through the installation of a vpn client on each device also known as, uh, known as the remote access vpn when a user wants to connect um, to the heat office, they need uh, to open uh, the VPN client application on their device and then authenticate with the application before they can gain access to the heat office for network. So this implementation is usually reserved for telecommuters or, or mobile users such as sales staff or field engineers or home-based users since the admi administrative overhead becomes too great. So on the Users end, they have to deploy and configure the application on each device and uh, run the application. So you also have to rely on the uh, user remembering their VPN credentials, which may not be the same as their domain credential. Users who are connecting remotely will be required to authenticate against some form of remote authentication server before access, uh, before access is granted. Let me check, uh, is this recording? Uh, yes, actually, yes. Before access is granted, they need to authenticate server. So uh, here, as you can see here, uh, we created a diagram here. And now well, I want to uh, show you the remote authentication server, how they, uh, how they are creating. So let's copy this here, Cop copy and paste it here. Make it little here. So this is the uh, head office for, uh, again here. Let's copy this text here as well. Here, this is the head office, and we will have a VPN. 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 Actually, not VPN. Let's okay. Let's yeah or not. Let's use router. okay this or not this is the vpn concentrator and we will uh, vpn uh, concentrator 
Так, что на эти цели? So this is the VPN concentrator, and uh, we will actually in this case we will use remote authentication server. Server here, and this will be our remote authentication server. Remote server. Here, this is our remote authentication server, and this VPN concentrator goes to goes to uh, remote authentication server here, and also also. Uh, for example, we will use two computer. Also goes to uh, the first computer, for example, home based. And here we will have second computer, for example, field based. And then uh, this directly goes to internet via vpn tunnel and then these computers uh, connects in here with uh, this vpn tunnel connects to the vpn here so So a VPN may also be used with an extranet to provide limited secure uh, communications to our infrastructure for our trusted partners. In all the presenting implementations, the user's device will appear as if uh, it is on the uh, head of its network. VPN tunnels provides data security through the use of encryption and authentication. So the methods that are used vary depending on uh, the tunneling protocol that's used. Microsoft has used uh, three ton uh, tunneling VPN protocol in uh, recent years. Let me write these protocols here. Actually here. So this is first is uh, point to point, uh, point to point tunneling protocol. The protocol which tell uh, PPTP and uh, also we have point to point uh, point to point protocol point to point protocol uh, also refer that ppp and we have we have uh, so uh, secure socket tunneling protocol secure socket tunneling protocol referred as SSTP oops SSTP here so the new absolute PPTP was designed to transmit, uh, transmit PP, uh, PP point uh, to point protocol uh, traffic through the VPN as you can see here so in this case uh, point to point tunneling protocol creates a communication channel to the recipient and that channel will then be used to create generating routing encapsulation GRE tunnel for the data to be transmitted across so encryption was provided by microsoft point to point encryption mpae and authentication was uh, by password authentication protocol PAP challenge uh, handshake authentication protocol uh, or TEAP so SSTP was implemented in uh, Windows Vista uh, like PPTP SSTP was designed to securely transmit peer uh, point to point actually not point to point protocol not tunneling uh, so However, uh, SSTP uh, uses secure, uh, secure socket layer, transport layer uh, security, so SSL, TLS, uh, to provide encryption. It also utilizes the same network port as HTTPS traffic, so that is the port um, is 443. Port 443. So, 
Science Sport is, is usually open on firewalls for secure web browsing. So this means that the network administrators didn't need to open, open another port to allow the traffic through. So authentication of S, uh, secure socket tunneling protocol, protocol actually, proto, protocol, uh, authentication of uh, secure socket tunneling protocol traffic uh, was provided by MS CHAP and extensible authentication protocol TLS. Windows 7 saw the introduction of the layer 2 tunneling protocol L2TP while uh, L2TP provided the tunnel. So actually let me write here, not here, for better understanding. Here. Um, this layer 2 tunneling protocol. Layer 2 tunneling protocol. So LT, L2TP. L2TP. So while LT, L2TP provided the tunnel, it didn't not provide any form of encryption. So it was usually deployed alongside Internet Protocol Security EIPsec. So which does uh, so authentication is conducted using the Internet Key Exchange IKEA. So. To try and overcome the uh, users uh, with users forgetting the, to start their VPN connections, Microsoft released support for direct access in Windows 7. When a user started up their device, the direct access service running on it will check to see if uh, it was on the same network as the direct access server. If, it's, if it is discovered uh, it was on the same network, um, then it knew that uh, to use direct access as a form of VPN. So, however, if it was not the same network as the direct access server, then the device would use the direct access servers to make a connection to your organization's direct access server. Again, this was a transparent to the user. So, the, the additional benefit of using direct access was the and administrators could manage those remote devices as if they were on the local network. With the release of Windows, uh, Windows 10, Microsoft provided uh, users uh, with a service called Elvis on VPN, which, which uh, was designed to replace direct access. Always on VPN could be configured to create a device tunnel that uh, would connect through the VPN once the device had booted, booted up. Or it could be configured uh, to user uh, a user tunnel that connects uh, once a user logs in. So these two options are not mutually exclusive, and uh, but uh, both can be implemented at the same time. However, to utilize the device tunnel, you have to use either an enterprise edition of Windows 10 or education ed edition. So with this, we have finished looking at basic security features of a network in our Udemy course.